Thank you. Pep, you got to talk to old school hip hop okay. look. Okay. All right. We love you. We love you in salt and pepper. And we specialize in your legacy. So being that this is a women's empower event overall for plus size women, how was it in your prime? Because we know you and Salt are not necessarily plus size. However, now, no, 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 no. Now you look at accidental. What's the Adele? Uh, she called it meat and potato before on her stand up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! But you know, but you know the deal. You you ladies were considered to be the ideal appeal for women in hip hop. So did you bear witness to other female MCs who may not have had that at time mainstream appeal? Also, possibly being potential stars, but because of the stigma, they couldn't really push through. I would say. I wouldn't say so much that in hip hop in the beginning though because. I mean, you got the girls, they was like, um, they, you know, La Diva, and then um, Miss Melody, that's Carol Rez. I mean, that's so, right. You know what I mean? Like, there was some. That's right. I, we that's right. Back, it was about spitting, it was about your living, so your music and how you go. So, it was never about, oh, if anything, it was more grunt, you know. And it that's was, what we brought fun fashion femininity to it, and it was different because you thought you had to be dressing like a certain way when you came in the industry. It was never about exactly. weight or anything.